Hey there, Chad Bonja here for High University Libraries. Currently, the students in the Global Leadership Center are researching how to do business in Vietnam in several different Vietnam industries and companies. This video shows you how to use Passport GMED to research Vietnam in a very, very extensive way. So this video is going to show you how to use Passport GMED in a variety of ways to research your country. So here you go. So after launching Passport GMED, the first thing you're going to do is agree their terms and conditions, accept their basically says you're going to be using it for academic uses only. And then once you get to the page here, there's a couple different ways that you can actually search for Vietnam information. Uh, one way is just go under countries and consumers, and you might just start here and just kind of work your way down. So if we go to like consumer trends and lifestyles, for example, and then go and actually uh, choose your country, let's choose Vietnam there, click go. This gives you all kinds of really good information uh, on consumer trends in the, in, the, in the area. And you can see on the left-hand side all these different things you have. You know, uh, home ownership, income, expenditure, work, learning, eating, drinking, even smoking habits, personal appearance, you know, just different things. And just clicking on something random here, attitudes towards hair and beauty. So all kinds of really kind of interesting information you can find for your, for your country there. Uh, if we go back to the, uh, the main page there. You can actually go in and look at strategy briefings uh, for this kind of a global uh, global deal. Uh, look at Country Pulse, which kind of gives you, uh, these are updated more, more regularly than, than the consumer lifestyles uh, information. And just basically gives you kind of a quick snapshot of what's going on uh, going on in your, in your country at that time. So a great way to, to get information uh, like that. Uh, you can also get to what they call future demographics, which are these consumers in 2020, which basically projects where uh, the consumer market is going uh, in, in your area. Okay, so that's one way to do that. Another thing you can do is actually go under economy, finance, and trade and look for these country profiles. And we'll do Vietnam again. And this just gives you kind of a quick uh, uh, country profile, you know, talk about the politics, the economy, all that kind of good stuff. So different different place to get that kind of information as well. The country briefings here actually will get you some other good information as well. In the uh, economy section of Passport GMAT under countries and consumers, the, uh, the country briefing gives you this uh, risk and vulnerabilities for each country. And this will tell you how, um, how kind of uh, volatile the market is in a particular area with lots of good charts, uh, information like that. So really good content there. Uh, you can also go up to countries and consumers and look for uh, government, labor, education, or income and in, uh, industry infrastructure, environment, all these different kind of things will give you different kinds of reports there. As an example, if you go to government, labor, and education, and then go to the country briefings in this section, this is going to be different than from the, the um, economy section. Let's do um, Vietnam again. Click go. And then here we have an analysis of the country's business environment. How stable is the economy? What's it like to do business in that country? How corrupt is the country? How easy is it to do business? Things like that. So all kinds of good information you can find for, uh, for that particular uh, uh, country. Now, if you're looking for a particular industry for a country, uh, one thing, and, and these are cons mainly consumer markets here, mind you, uh, you can actually go under industries, and let's say we're looking for travel and tourism in, in Vietnam. So if we go to travel and tourism, click there. It's going to take us to this travel and tourism page here. And I'm just actually just going to select travel and tourism right there and click go. This is going to take us to another screen here where it actually selects travel and tourism. If you wanted to, you can go down and select these guys down here as well. Um, and you can also click the drop down box to get more information like that. And as you click those, they add over here on the right hand side. Now at the bottom, once you're satisfied with what's over here on the right, you click on choose geographies. And you can go in and actually search for countries. So if we go in and search for Vietnam here, we could do it that way. Or we could actually go in and choose Asia Pacific and click Vietnam there. If we want to compare Vietnam versus Thailand, we could click both and do that sort of thing. 
So once you're satisfied with your geography summary or category summaries, you can go down here and click on Run Search. So this is going to give us a huge amount of information here. Um, there's all kinds of reports you'll find, statistics, that sort of thing. And so here is, for example, Health and Wellness Tourism in Vietnam. We'll just use this one as an example. And this would be your typical, what they call a category briefing, which is a really kind of a, a short market research report, but it gives you a pretty good idea as far as what's going on uh, in the area there. So you'll also notice on the left-hand side that there are related reports over here. These same related reports are also um, in the, uh, uh, on the previous page. You can actually go back to the previous page. This gives you kind of an idea. Um, so here is uh, Travel and Tourism in Vietnam. The Travel and Tourism Vietnam report is a much larger report because it's an industry overview rather than a category briefing. So it's a much larger report. You get a lot more information here. Um, just on the left-hand side, you can see all the kind of stuff that you can find. Uh, tourism flows, tourism expenditures, all that kind of stuff. So you get all kinds of different information. Um, uh, you know, uh, lots of good content there, lots of, lots of good statistics, uh, lots of not only... Uh, numbers but but good uh, textual analysis as well so a good good place to look for that kind of information as well finally you can also use the search box up here so if, say for example we're looking for uh, sauces and dressings in vietnam you can actually just start start typing uh, sauces vietnam and it'll bring up sauces dressing and condiments in vietnam click there do a search and it'll actually go and find the content for you uh, that way you got to be careful with the search box because sometimes you get a lot of stuff that you don't really uh, want. Uh, but you can see in this case, because it kind of put it into this category, sauces, dressing, condiments in Vietnam, we actually found some really good stuff that way. So that gives you a quick overview of how to find information on Vietnam in Passport GMIT. Hopefully this helps you learn more about your country in Vietnam. You can also use this for other countries as well. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'd be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.